Hey there, gang. Uh, I apologize for the quality of the second camera, actually the main camera in the video you're about to see. Someone had suggested using uh, another camera because I always use my phone camera because it's great in all light. And I tried the other camera and I've used that other camera before, but it was horrible in regular room light and I forgot to turn the extra lights on and it looks like hell, so I turned it to black and white just so you could see the demo anyway. The lesson is, don't listen to other people. I hope you enjoy the demo of the Fractal FM9 Turbo for acoustic guitar. Howdy, gang. In another episode of I Spend the Money So You Don't Have To, I have gone out and bought an FM9, a Fractal FM9, as you can see on the screen here. And it's very interesting. It's the FM9 Turbo. And um, I had so many people tell me, oh, you gotta try the Fractal, you gotta try the Fractal. And I had watched dozens of videos before purchasing it, but I had put my name on the wait list and my name finally came up. So I'm trying it. It's a beast. It's almost twice the size of the Quad Cortex. It's a hell of a lot better than my HX Stomp, though I think it's not much bigger than a Helix. So I was like, well, all right, let's find out how it stacks and let me share that with you. So the first thing I did, which I thought was the easiest way to do this, was to purchase some preset packs from people that I know, um, that I trust. They were all very cool, and I tried out all the uh, built-in presets. But I was like, well, since we've been on an acoustic guitar jag for figuring out what these devices can do for our live rig, I was like, well, if the Fractal is that, you know, massive and powerful and awesome, what can it do for acoustic guitar? So I've got a patch here. I'm gonna bring it up on the other camera. This you can see. I'll zoom in. So this is a patch. This is a preset that I bought that I then tweaked. One of the interesting things is I'm still playing the same Larave L03 that I've played for all the other patches, but this one actually is using a Larave D03, which is the Dreadnought version, for an IR. And I thought that would be really interesting and might be more accurate. Our CPU is around 69% for this patch. And um, there's a lot of things available. There's, there's Chorus if you want it. and two different delays and a looper if you wish. But I just wanted to let you hear the basic sound and then give you my feedback on it and the unit after playing with it for 24 hours. So here we go. Okay, so what do you think? I mean, you've heard the other videos I've done recently with the HX Stomp and the Quad Cortex and playing directly through just a regular pedal board with the piezo sound. What do you think? How does this stand up? My opinion, it's not that much better than the HX Stomp 
Uh, I recently tweaked the HX stomp and got it sounding even better. So if you want that preset, let me know. I'll gladly send it to anybody who wants it. I don't think it's that much better than the Quad Cortex. In fact, I think the Quad Cortex is better. I think maybe potentially this could be better. I did spend a few hours with it, tweaking that acoustic preset to get it sounding what I thought was better. If I probably threw in maybe one more EQ and some other effects, it's p possible, but just to my ears, it's not that much better. They only give you a 15 day period to return it. Um, I really dug the amp sounds, the electric guitar sounds. I did dig quite a bit. Again, I don't think those are drastically better. Like for me to buy another $1,800 piece of equipment, it would have to be not 10% better. It'd have to be like 20% better than what I had already. And I'm pretty sure it's not 10% better. I know for a fact that acoustic preset that you just heard is not more than 10% better. If that, I mean, to me, to be completely honest, because I have no skin in the game here, I'm going to return it. I think it's about the same, maybe a little worse. But again, I don't want to be harsh. I could spend a lot more time and maybe tweak it. I will say that the software isn't as user friendly and easy to tweak as the Line 6. I mean, Line 6 is kind of industry leader for tweaking software. And there is no software for the Quad Cortex, which is endlessly a pain in the butt for me. They say they're going to do it eventually, but they really should have had that at launch. There's a lot of things that the, the Neural DSP company does that I don't agree with, but it is super easy to tweak it on the unit. It is um, much easier than this, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. I know this is super cool and this has devotees and they love it, but for me, I have a much easier time right out of the box with the Quad Cortex, and the sounds are pretty close. Um, we were at 69% CPU. That's where I am with the Quad Cortex with a similar patch. In fact, my Quad Cortex patch is probably more complicated than the one I have here, and it still was less than 70%. It's also, in my opinion, the Fractal FM9 Turbo, that acoustic patch is not that much better than the HX Stomp, the new one I've done. I think the new one's better. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I respect it. I get why so many people like it. Um, it's, it's clear that it's, uh, there's a reason it's so popular but it's bigger than the Quad Cortex. It's much bigger than the HX Stomp. It's a little bit bigger than the Helix. And I don't think the sound is that much better. I think you, there is arguably, arguably for the electric sounds, some of the amp sounds are great, but I just, I don't see keeping it. What do you think? Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm gonna play out. I'm gonna play out here. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.